As we continue our coverage of Autism Awareness Month, we're hearing about global efforts to promote research and awareness, particularly from a Middle Eastern country that pushed for World Autism Day it, for, to become Autism Awareness Month. Well, Ellen spoke to the executive director of the Organization for Autism Research, along with a mother of a 14-year-old who has autism. Mike and Nina, thank you so much for joining us today for Great Day Washington. Autism Awareness Month. How do you guys feel like we are right now on our awareness of autism? And where do you hope we go in the next few years? I'll start. Uh, I think you can never have enough awareness. I think we've made great progress over the past um, 10, 15 years. Significant progress, actually, to the point now where you may have heard there, even within the community, we're debating awareness versus acceptance in terminology. But because wow. we passed to that point, but there's a continuous need for awareness. There's never, it never goes away to educate neighbors, friends, school teachers. There's always a new way of new wave of people that need to be informed. We're making good progress and uh, continue to do so. Yeah, Nina, as a mother of a 14 year old, right, who has autism, yeah. do you yeah. feel like um, the acceptance is there, as Mike was saying? I, I think that it's coming. Um, I will say that. Uh, this you know, younger generation um, seems to be really um, with it in terms of accepting people from all different walks of life. Um, and it's just sort of ingrained in their curriculum and in their culture. Um, I think that in terms of the greater population, you know, there's still work to be done, um, especially with younger parents whose children are still getting diagnosed and, um, you know, resources that would help them. Um, I think there's work to be done on that front um, across, you know, the country as well as the world. I've, I'm glad you said world because I was so surprised to learn that you have partnerships, right, with the Embassy of Qatar is a big one. Are they kind of leading the way in autism research? They're certainly leading the way internationally. Wow. Um, you know, they they go back to 2007 where they led the charge for uh, national, you know, for World Autism Awareness Day and World Autism Month. And they've continued to do that. It wasn't a one, you know, one flash in the pan type moment. The, the national leadership is vested in the mission. Uh, I happened to be on a trip to Qatar last year and met many of them and saw the commitment up front and personal. Um, so they're outstanding. Anything special happen uh, World Autism Day? As you mentioned, it is a, a global issue. Um, I know that that is now a thing through this month. Uh, was it a special day this year? For us, it's you know, it's almost like every day is World Autism Day mm -hmm. for us. We don't really take our foot off the mm -hmm. pedal. We do, we do push more in April to get more of our resources out to people, to make sure people are aware of them, to get our resources to classrooms and things like that. But uh, we just gear up to go at uh, kind of extra full speed when we get to April. I know you have a Kids for Kids program, is that right? Tell us a little bit about that. And Nina, have you maybe used that before? Has it been helpful? Yes, uh, my son is in middle school now. He's actually about to go to high school next year. Oh. So I think Kit for Kids is really useful for the younger uh, elementary school set. I used it significantly for him um, when he was in elementary school for several years. I would either do the lesson myself for his general education peers, or I would you know, actually ask the teacher to give it to um, the children herself as well. Uh, I think it works in both ways. Um, from in both um, contexts. Um, as I said before, this younger generation of children, you know, their perspective on diversity is, um, you know, it's just part of their culture and they uh, instinctively um, can be very inclusive. So Kit for Kids is just a um, really good reinforcer. Um, it just exposes kids into, um, the different ways that autistic kids think um, and different is not less. It's just a little bit different. And we all have, you know, uh, diversity that we all celebrate. So it's just one of those um, things. That's so good to hear. So encouraging to hear, especially through this month. Thank you both for your time today and for joining us. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you very much.
Now, the partnership between the Qatari Embassy and the Organization for Autism Research will expand the Kit for Kids program. And among the many things that they offer, one is an interactive work workbook for elementary and middle schoolers to learn to see the world through the eyes of their peers with autism. We're different, not less. I like that.